In jQuery Mobile, you're working mainly with pages. Now, the way that you do this is within a div tag, you assign an attribute, which is data-role equals page. And then you give each page its own ID, which in this case, we're just naming it page. But any additional pages after this, we're going to have to name page 2, page 3, or really whatever you want. So that's where we add additional div tags outside of the page and give it an additional or a different ID. Now the data dash role still equals page. This tells jQuery that this content within this div tag is going to be a page. Now you can have additional div tags within that page, but this will be considered one page. Now even though these two pages are contained within the same HTML file, it only displays one page at a time. So if I have page one, for example, that's displaying for the user on their mobile device, they won't see any content that's contained in page two until I link from a button or from a list view to page two. Now once I link to page two, they will not see anything from page one anymore. They'll only see the content on page two. Now I can link back to page one if needed, but the only visible content at the time will be page two. Now you can have separate items within each page and so I can have a button on page one and I can have a completely different button on page two as well as a list view on page one that links to the different pages in my HTML file and then an image that goes on my page two that is not contained within page one. I just need to make sure that that content is wrapped up inside of that div tag of the page. Now there's three elements of a page that consist, or there's three basic elements that consist of a page. The first element is the header. Now the header actually shows up on the top and it's more of like the title of the page. This is optional, but what you would want to do if you want to use a header is wrap it up in another div tag and assign an attribute of data-role equals header. Now within there, you need to have an H1 tag and then within that H1 tag is the name of your page. Now, later on, we'll talk about actually swapping out that H1 tag and adding an image in there if you wanted to have an image at the top of your page. Now, the second item is the data-role equals content. This is what's actually in on the main page, and you do need to have a content page on every single page in order for something to show on the screen once they navigate to this page. So you name it data-role equals content. Now within that div tag, you can put whatever HTML you want. You can put your image tags, you can put your P tags, um, page tags, header, other he header tags. Um, you can also assign other buttons and other items right within that content. And that will be visible to the learner as soon as they navigate to that page. Now the final thing is the footer. The footer shows up on the bottom or it shows up on the at the end of the content. If that content doesn't fill the entire screen, the footer could show up right after that. If you want it to always show up at the bottom, we'll also learn how to do that as well, where it can show as a fixed, uh, whatever size screen that it have, it will always show up on the bottom. And then you can have other contents, you can have an H4 tag in there for the title, or you can also put navigation bars, uh, other button items that take you to different pages or to different uh, or does different things depending on what how you want it to program. So that is the main navigation page, um, how you actually set up a page, and the three different parts that make up a page, a header, content, and footer. Now let's go ahead and go into Sublime Text here. And we already have this page set up, so we have div data dash role equals page and we have given it an ID of page. Now if I wanted to have multiple pages within this file, I'm going to go ahead and just copy that and I can come down here and I can paste it and the only thing I need to change is the ID. So now I have page two. Well, let's go ahead and add a header tag. Well before I do that actually, let me go ahead and just save that, come over to my uh, index file and hit preview. You'll notice nothing is actually visible at this time because I haven't actually entered in a header yet. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in a header. So I'm going to have a div tag. And within that div tag, I'm going to add an attribute of data dash role equals, and within quotes, I'm going to say header. Now within there, let me go ahead and just take that div tag to the next line. And within that div tag, I'm going to have an h1 tag. And that h1 tag is going to have some text. 
I'm going to save that, come over to my HTML file, go ahead and preview that, and now I have my header. It's automatically separated out with this bar. I don't have any content yet. That's the next thing I need to do is I'm going to come down and I'm actually going to add some content. So I'm going to say div and I'm going to say data dash role equals and within quotes, I'm going to say content. Anything within this div tag is going to be my content. So I'm going to add another line here and I'm going to just, just going to say sample page content. I don't even need to wrap it up in a P tag or anything. That's going to be the text. Now it's more common practice to wrap it up in a P tag or something else there. And when we start adding our buttons, when we start adding list views and everything like that, it'll most likely go in the content area. Now the next thing is I'm going to add a footer. Actually, before I do that, let's save this and preview it. So I'm going to come in, I'm going to preview it, and there we go. There's our sample page content. Well, let's come over here and let's uh, add a, da a div tag. And we're going to add an attribute of data. You'll see where the data dash role, where we're assigning things, comes into play with jQuery Mobile. It's very heavily used um, to define certain parts of your HTML as certain elements of jQuery Mobile. So I'm going to say footer here. And then I'm going to go down and so let's add an H4 tag. And we're just going to say footer. And so now I'm going to come in and I'm going to preview this. And you can see there's my footer down at the bottom. And if I already still have, or if I still have my simulator up, all I have to do is hit refresh in here and it will display the content that I have. You'll notice my footer automatically stops right after my content, like I mentioned. If I wanted to have this come down to the bottom, we'll talk about footers in a later video, but we can have it fixed always down at the bottom as well. Now, my page two, all I need to do, if I wanted to copy these three elements, I can just come in here, copy that, come down to page two and paste it. And then let's just name this content page two uh, content. And let's go ahead and change the title to page two. And from here, all I would need to do is add a link to that page. The way that you add a link is normal HTML. So I would come in here and I would do the a href. And instead of linking to a, let's say page two dot HTML file, because we're linking to something within the same page, we're going to go ahead and add a pound sign. And then we're going to type in the name of the page. So in this case, it's going to be page two. And um, let's go ahead and place that content word inside of that A tag. And that way, whenever they click on the content, it will actually link to that other page. So let me go ahead and refresh my browser. And you notice content is now underlined. It is a button now. So if I click on that, it now takes me to page two. So page two is not visible until I've actually linked to that. None of the, none of the content within page two becomes visible. But as soon as I link to it, none of the content within page one is visible anymore. We'll talk about how to make that link into an actual button, make it look a little bit better. Um, but that's how you link from one page to the other. And that's how you build your pages with the three simple elements of a header, content, and a footer.